son, brother, friend. Over the past four weeks, we have followed the story of four extraordinary people on a journey of hope, courage, and friendship. This is their story. That's, that's when it happened. I just heard this devil-like scream. And I rushed up to the weather where I could see the water was all churning. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, that's the last time I saw, I saw Frank. This is the home of Jeff Alexander. Jeff is a close personal friend of Frank's. Some would call him his mentor. It's been months since the disappearance of Frank. Jeff has made it his personal mission to find him and uncover the truth. Jeff's the name, Bunyip's the game. Jeff has a degree in business and cryptozoology and an avid interest in ambiguous creatures of Australia. Real estate agent by trade. I'm what you'd call a crusader, a visionary. Take your pick. I specialise in um, rare or unseen creatures and conspiracies as well. Jeff is no stranger to criticism. I've definitely had to deal with non-believers before. Um, just because you haven't seen the creature doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I haven't seen a dinosaur, but we all know they existed. The members of the BAA meet up every Thursday and discuss matters of the previous week. The Bunyip Awareness Alliance, this little gemstone of mine, was created last year when a buddy of mine, Frank, went missing. How are you up to? These uh, minutes from the last meeting and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Susie brought up the... Uh, Kent Street, where could it be of interest to us? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, contrary to popular belief, our group doesn't want to kill the beast. Or we, want to, uh, we want to identify it. We want to raise awareness about it. So, where to next, eh? Um, <laughs> well, someone has an interview with Indy Rady on Wednesday. You! You, Jeff. Oh, yeah. I told you, told you he was a gun. Oh, oh you, you. <laughs> what do you reckon, eh? Do we have safety precautions? Yes, we certainly do. That's why I acquired Susie. Well, I'm the health and safety manager for the BAA, and I believe that safety is of the utmost importance when dealing with unknown creatures such as the bunyip. Susie has also developed a team building exercise regime of warm up activities such as stretches. She also recognises the importance of team trust. Every session consists of activities that aim to bring the team closer together. So we've actually practised many drills, moves and even choreographed meetings with the Bunyip so that we feel we'll be fully prepared for any encounter with this wonder. That yeah. is a big beast. That's Nine inches. Is. Can you give me Nine. that in centimetres? Oh, please? yes, certainly. Is that so. 22? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you can actually see the claws there, Susan. Susan, can you see that? Oh. Uh, I've got to take this off. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. I'll get the crew going. We just had a call from the ranger out at the Kent Street Weir. Oh, I've got to tell the crew. Hey, guys, I just got a call from the ranger out at um, Cannington. He's at the Kent Street Weir, and there are some really unusual footprints. Oh, my God. we got to go. Team are headed to Canning River Reserve, the very same location where John's brother Frank went missing.
Yeah, of course there's always hope when I come out to the swamp that we, we might find Frank. But this place really scares me. I've been right from that day that he went missing. I've been through here at night and it's just a scary, horrible place. Anyway, I think we've got a chance today. We'd better get going. Spirits are high. Call outs to a swamp are hard to come by and the evidence looks promising. Do anything, Jeff? Not yet, mate. Not yet. Yeah, um, we, uh, me and Frank, we used to walk around the, the Canning River catchment area and, uh, and uh, the night that it happened, we, we set off around sunset and it was a little bit later than we normally go. And um, I was just um, looking at a part of the river that I really like and Frank got a little bit ahead of me. And um, that's, that's when it happened. Remember, your safety is paramount. We don't want to lose another person. Yeah, there's got to be some traps around here. Yeah, there will be. Hey, guys, look, over there. What? what Come is on. There we go. What is it? Got your back. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me that joke you told me on the way out. We thought we were going to find you, and we did. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah, that's all right. Upon finding Frank, the BAA vows to keep going. That this is merely the first chapter of their story. because we love it. I don't think the bunyip is close. I know it is. And together we're going to find it. So what happened, Frank? Ah, uh, long story. 